Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to day three. So today we're going to look at how we can prompt our large language model and get a response. We're going to see how we can pass the message of the prompt as well as the data that the model needs to work on. So I have a fun little use case today. Um, so back in the US, I had a dog. Her name was Peanut, but she's in doggo heaven now. But I, I adopted her from the Humane Society of Tampa Bay. And so I went to their website and I thought it would be nice. It would be nice to rewrite these bios to make these doggos seem even more adorable and adoptable. So I have the bios here and I'm going to have the large language model rewrite these bios. So as we did yesterday, we've already configured our, our API key. We have authenticated ourselves and we have selected a model. I'm going to use the chat model because it has GPT-4 and I, I want to use GPT-4. So in here, so I already have GPT-4 selected, maximum response length, 2000 to uh, tokens is more than enough. I do want this to be more on the creative side, so I'm going to make this higher and I'm going to click on OK. So here I have my bios and the star of the show today is the prompter node. So large language model, well chat large chat model prompter i'm gonna pull that on i'm gonna connect it to the model connector and in here if you open up this node you can see that there needs to be a column for the message role and there needs to be a column for the messages so i'm gonna make an empty table that has these headers because this table uh this table structure is pretty much what is going to hold the outputs of the model so you have to make it as an input so i'm just going to make an, an empty table using the table creator node So the table creator node, I'm going to put it up here and I'm just going to, I could use the names that's already in that node. So I'm going to call this message role, or I'm just going to call it role because it's pretty much the system and AI um, or the person and AI. So I'm going to call it role and I'm going to call it message, the second column. Click on OK. So here's my empty table and I'm going to connect this empty table to my model. And then now I need to pass something to the model, which are my messages. And I want to do that one by one. I can do them all together, but that's going to require some manipulation. I'll just rather do them one by one so that it's nice and it's nice and clean. So to select one message, of course, you want to use a, you can use a group loop. And I'm going to group by the bios. And then I'm going to group, uh, sorry, then I'm going to make that a variable to variable. So essentially, I will select one message and then I'm going to send that message forth to the, I just want the bio, so the bio. And I'm going to send that over to the model. So now we're going to go back here to configure the, to finish configuring the chat model prompter. This is the message. I'm just going to say, simple. And then the messages are going to be uh, the variable. So the messages is the bio, this variable. Okay. And then the message role is role, and then the message is message, those columns. And by the way, if you want to have a conversation, you need to pass the messages back to append them. There's uh, there's a workflow on this by Nime, I believe. I'm going to find a comment. Uh, sorry, I'm going to add a comment, which has the link to that workflow after this video goes live. So pretty much that's all that's needed. And now I'm going to close my loop. I did have to go back in here and I changed, uh, sorry, into the model selector and I changed to 3.5 turbo because I was having issues in GPT-4. So I'm going to run this now. Okay, so those are my outputs. I have the human, human message and the AI message. So this is the first one. This is for Riker. So the original bio, hi there, my name is Riker. I was brought to HSTB because my owner no longer had enough time for me. I came in with my friend Diamond. 
the message from the AI, first thing you can see, it's much longer. And it says, introducing Riker, the charismatic canine, ready to steal your heart. This lovable porch found himself at HSTB because his previous owner couldn't give him the time he deserves, you know. So we can already see that, you know, the length is different. So you can see here there's really nice language like, this is the AI one compared to the human one. Language like steal your heart away, lovable pooch, um, double the fun, making your life twi twice as amazing if you adopt him together with his friend Diamond. So this is a pretty sweet use case and I should probably share this with the shelter if it's something they can look into. I really hope that you know these large language models are used for good for cases such as this. So definitely such messages, uh, these second ones by the AI, they are way more persuasive, I would say, than the original ones. But anyways, that's just how you can easily use the chat model prompter to prompt the model and get an output. And again, I'm going to comment a workflow from Nime. It shows you how you can like keep that conversation history going. Okay, that's a wrap for this video. Now you, you know how to connect to the model. You know how to select your models. You know how to prompt the models and get a response. And I'll see you in day four for the next node in this sequence. Thank you. Have a great day. Goodbye.